with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Barnome hoy ma shamele zaban hoy besiarist. As in website, didan farmoid suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. How are you? <laughs> A lot of females. Even we put some over there, still not. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you men, huh? How come you don't come to practice? Just stay home and make money, huh? Wow. You see, even monks, only one. <laughs> and then there are four. The proportion is, is amazing, amazing. How are you in any case? We don't have men and women anyway, right? We have only souls. Yeah. And spiritual enlightenment. You guys, no good? Sick? <laughs> have medicine? Ah, I understand. Okay, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. No. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Came from sensitive country. Sensitive country. Similar to yesterday. But the North and South Korea are good now. Yeah, it's getting better all the time. Just they're still not. Uh, it's just they're still not. Uh, um, able to travel, you know, across the uh, the old border, but they probably will very soon. You see, like now, all that. So they can go in and out of the country of all that. They can go to the north and the south. Nobody, nobody bother anymore. I'm so glad and. I wish one day Korea will be like that, soon, 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 so that the family don't feel so sorrowful, missing each other. Children don't feel so bad, you know, because their parents are not with them. Parents will not feel so much pain, worrying about the children being alone somewhere else. War is horrible. It's it's not just killing people, but it's tearing families apart and making people feel also dead inside or wounded inside, not just outside. Maybe they're not wounded outside, but they're wounded inside. This is terrible. And there are different kinds of war as well, you know, psychological war and political war. Oh. What are humans doing? I have no idea why do they have to do all this. Just because of different ideologies, different religions, then it becomes warlike. Then people feel scared, frightened, and worried, even though they do nothing. They're just innocent citizens. 
They're not politically motivated. They don't want to seize the power from the government. They don't want to revolt, nothing. They just want to travel, like maybe to see other countries, or to see somebody that they would like to study with. That's all, and then have to cover their face, and have to fear persecution, and okay, this is ridiculous. It's really barbarous. It's like killing people in a different way, torturing people in a different way. I don't know if physical torture is worse than psychological or mental or emotional torture. I don't know which one is worse, but all are bad. Bad, 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 bad. Humans' life is very short. People should be able to live in freedom as long as they don't do any harm to anybody. Anything else is barbarous, uncivilized, backward, unethical, unpolitical. Politics should be about making people feel happy and free, protected, safe. Yeah, that's the job of the politicians. If not, I think they should step out, resign, and go repent somewhere in a mountain, temple, do anything else. That's better than just sitting there and controlling the life of the people. What a shame. If you don't do your job well, you should just retire, step down, step out, go, live people alone, leave the country to someone else who is more liberal, who is more intelligent, who is more humane to take care of that country. The country is not yours anyway. If you can't do a good job, I invite you to go out, get lost, and may God bless you. If you even know what God is, especially those who always profess that they know God and they worship God and all this all the time, but don't do anything according to God's benevolence or even just according to a logical, just a normal, humane system. No need to say even God's enlightenment, nothing. If you don't like to be treated, don't measure it on others. That's all there is. Politics is that simple. As long as people are good, Citizens doing nothing wrong. You should let them be, right? Yes. Yes. Tell me, yes or no? Yes. Right. That's it. <laughs> the centers that found and accepted the uh, uh, homeless, please come up. Tao Yen to begin with, Ping Tong, I think Hua Lian. Or oh, what else? Thai, Thai Tong or Thai Chong? Come up here, contact person. Move, move. All the people with uh, with the homeless, come up here. Move, quick. I don't have all day. <laughs> you have, I don't have. Come here. <laughs> That's it. Only four, right? Ah, huh? where? Ping Tong. Ping Tong. Ah, đây. Ika 这样让他们女儿知道啊
。下一个，第个，第二个收容是哪一个？好，现在不管了，上来啊！明东啊，来，哎呀。哎，大家共享。一千要一千斤。啊？一千一千一千啊！每次那个不是，那个是以后了。我去想你们爱心 ，OK？ 上来，第二个，花莲啊。台中。台中台中 ，OK。哎，大家一起啊。高雄。OK， 啊，还坐那里，啊，坐下坐下，不用跪，等一下弄错还来得及跪，啊，现在不用，哈哈哈哈啊 ，Thank you， 谢谢，谢谢你们那个爱心，永远觉得好啊，或是做好事就觉得难过，现在觉得怎么样？一个人一个，对。做好事，我觉得怎么样？啊，很感恩师傅。感恩师傅，<笑>不是我养，是你养的、啊。我问你，诶、欸，接受流浪汉了，照顾他们以后，觉得情况、身体、呃，心情怎么样？更开朗。哎，对，觉得好嘿。做好事就会觉得好的了。你呢？他他们的脸色变得很漂亮、啊。谁？我们流量那个街友，他变成很漂亮，改变了啊、哦，改变了啊、哦。当然，人家以前是懊恼啊，现在高兴。想要想要印心了啊、哦，太好了。嗯，我问你，你感觉怎么样？啊、哦，我是说很荣幸的能照顾他们。好好，第二个，照顾游民让我学习很多，那很单纯心呐、啊。你啦，还，我不是问他了。我问你，对啊，我跟游民这几这最近相处，觉得他们很单纯心呐、啊，让我学习很多。嗯 ，OK， 感谢师傅给我们高雄的同修，还有我学习到很多爱心的功课。好好 ，OK OK， <笑>不是感谢了，你们觉得舒不舒服？有没有感觉？有那种哇，对人家好。会不会对自己觉得很很好就对了，懂吗？你们都是回答都不对，算了算了，没事没事啊，<笑>应该继续做 ，OK， 别的重心也要做 ，OK。我等一下会送给桃园这一套艺术，我是<笑>当纪念，嗯，谢谢师傅。因为我们刚好今天谈到这些事情嘛 ，OK， 然后陶影是第一个嘛，啊，那我就上阵给给他，给他们。反正我不怎么喜欢这套，他扣的很困难。本来早一点出来，结果忙着扣这个扣了，哇，都很硬很硬啊！小到他们怎么能够这样子？怎么能够他们能扣，就我拿不出来，然后扣不进去，哦，花很多时间啊，好看不过，花很多时间。你看有一个还没扣好，我是怎样？对了，呵呵很困难了、啊，现在要扣了，我很困难了、啊。哦呦，你看他进不去了。那种太窄了，懂吗？我又，他们大家都身体很好，懂不懂？他们手都跟铁铁嘴一样啊，<笑>我就不一样了。然后我又很忙，又急，懂不懂？时间算秒的，就这个样子。你看，我进不去了。<笑>要擦油，他才进得进。你看，他进不去了。我不是骗你的。哇、oh, ，God！ 啊，好了，哦，<笑>做什么事情要细心一点，还要考虑到别人，不是你好就好，嗯，嗯 
，那个寿荣，你们当然有很多时间了。哎，有同修可以帮忙，我不能随时找同修进来帮我啊啊！你有空吗？忘了我扣一个扣子好不好？了解吗？不能随时这样找啊！看起来很轻松，我认为 OK， 所以没找人了。我是我，而且我不想找人了。我能够处理什么，我自己一个人处理。因为他进来，你的房子他会带来别的朋友啊，蟑螂啊、蚂蚁啊、呃、蚯蚓啊，啊，我我不知道什么啦，蜜蜂那种一大堆。最少一个礼拜，他们才跟着他们的那个朋友去别的地方。一个礼拜，那个那个人走以后。那些蟑螂啊，比方说，蟑螂园的话，蟑螂一个礼拜以后才离开；蚂蚁的话，不晓得，有时候很久都不离开。带进来的话，都不出去。所以不是说有人帮你忙就好了，他带来代价 ，OK？ 嗯，代价你们不知道啦，他没有写说多少那个 N T 呢。<笑>没有写，嗯，他就默默这样子扣，从你那个修行的银行扣出来，让你虐待，被虐待精神折磨的那个啊心情啊，哎，没那么简单。所以每个人什么人要帮忙师傅，不用骄傲了 ，OK， 我在后面打扫很辛苦。是每个人什么人要帮忙师傅，不用骄傲了。OK， 我在后面打扫很辛苦，不过也不能每次都免呐、啊。比方说有一些事情师傅没办法做啊，那、啊、我是要要有那个气肉的人呐、啊，我是有气气呀、啊，懂不懂？那小的时候如果是我自己弄啊，小事情的不用很多力量，不用很很大气气什么，我自己可以做。就是要弄门啊，或是要修理什么，我当然不行，没有工具，啊，没有那个专业的能力，没时间，修理大的话没时间。不过我真能免就免了，<笑>你们不要认为看起来很多人，然后随时都有人帮助师傅，没有了，我一个人啊，打扫啊，抹地板啊，穿衣服啊。自己打扮啊，染头发啊，什么都自己弄了，不然会花很多时间啊啊，很多钱哦。<笑>哎，如果自己出去外面染头发也花很多钱。如果没真的是有人要保护上保镖上，这几天我们需要外面的保镖来保护那个来来那个来跳舞那个团体的啊。哎，他们以前呢、啊，还没有和平以前呢、啊，很久以前，他们就逃过去嘛。他经过很多国家，然后才能够回到那个南韩。以前呢、啊，现在，现在大概不用了，大家等着，真正的沟通以后就冲过去，冲过来了啊。所以，呃，他们过来了以后，就南韩政府保护他们，就去哪里都要有保镖，啊，要请他们的话也要。要有保镖，有警察才才能够行的，你懂吗？然后要有父母准力的才行，所以所以很很复杂了啊。如果师傅这样子的话，就花很多钱了。<笑>每天如果有保镖这样子，正式保镖的话花很多钱，然后还要染头发花很多钱，还有 make up artist 很多钱，还有人帮忙扣衣服，哇，又很多钱。所有生活看起来是很很整齐的啊，呃，染头发什么的，不过都是我自己弄的，是很省时间的，省钱的。因为要出去染头发的话，也要开车出去，有多一个司机出来。呃，如果真的怕了的话，要要保镖。我算一算，如果我真的要有保镖了的话。你看那个跳舞的团体而已，需要这么多保镖，因为他们算面积多少就多少人啊。然后这样子就要付很多钱，一天而已，啊，一天半左右。如果师傅天天有这样子，面积这么大
，那是多少娃娃的话，你算算多少钱了啊,啊？啊，我会变成真正的珍贵的师傅。Very dear, dearest master. <笑> Translation, OK. 好久我没讲中文，今天讲一讲给他们听，不然他们认为我不理他们了，然后我生气了。<笑>你们舒服吗？嗯。这种系统有一点。水分也不错哈，哎 ，OK， 那我也谢谢那个组织这边的人呐、啊，帮忙弄这样子，让你们舒服一点。不过本来为了给画的啦，懂吗？喷那些就为了画，你们自己额外呵呵额外得利的，呵呵谢谢花草。对啦，因为我们要种一些兰花，那些树木本来在野外的，我们喜欢那种四季啦，热不过有四季才行嘛。说刚好我们也呵呵啊，也、哎、那个利用情况也得利益哈。OK， 嗯，啊，那我谢谢，顺便谢谢你们这些小中心，既然几个找到而已，不过大家也是共享嘛，懂不懂？哎。不是共业而已啊，福报也要共享啊，懂吗？不然就不不公平呢、啊。每次都是我们共业共业，现在要共福了 ，OK？ <笑>一起回去吃。<笑>我们做事不要求福报，当然谁都知道了。对，不过为什么好找没有找流浪汉呢？等师傅讲才弄啊。啊，没想到啊。当时屏东是有在关怀。有待关怀，有待关怀。我知道，我知道，我知道。每个冬天呢，师傅有贡献一点钱，让你们出去帮忙，也是也是有，常常也去给他们服务，也对了。不过他们只需要一个家，懂吗？啊，需要一个稳定的生活。然后也许他们利用那种生下来的时间，可以休息超生。OK。是最好的，不是说为了一个家而已。嗯，他们要硬心就硬心，不勉强哦。嗯，那些老了、超过年纪了，不过已经世事很久，也可以让他们。OK， 我很高兴你们也最少有听师傅的啊，好的要听嘛啊，当然坏的不能听咯。我们有头脑清楚啊，我知道好坏啊。从来有没有叫什么坏事啊？师傅有没有叫什么坏的、啊？真的没有啊？确认吗 ？OK， 说你们聪明。嗯。<笑> Today I let you tell anything you like, but not the nonsense. OK, not the bombs, <laughs> not the stupid bombs, <laughs> and not all kinds of uh, sissy sassy just to want attention. And just to take up my time, okay? My time is precious. To sit here is a sacrifice for you, but I need to now and then appear, maybe say a few words that remind you to practice. That's why I do it. Otherwise, I don't really like to go anywhere, not even a few steps outside of my cave. Now, why? What do I need? Lousy buttons? Huh? <laughs> Or what? <laughs> I do everything almost myself already. <laughs> What else do I need from anybody? Or why do I need to see anybody when I can see the goddess, glorious, beautiful, and the spiritual splendor inside? Why do I have to see you, any of you? Huh? Mm. Not that I don't have any company or feel lonely. <laughs> no, you must be joking. <laughs> you must be joking. If you think like that, you're really stupid. <laughs> The idiot of all idiots, the master of all idiots. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you have any questions, you can tell me now. Spiritual questions only. Yeah. And real questions, not pretending. Pretending is also lying. Okay. Lying to a master is very, very big bad karma for you. Hmm. Even if you initiate it, you still be paying for that. 
Maybe you even have to go to hell. It depends on what you say. Depends on what kind of lie. Ah, our popo. Sometimes I cannot come out to see you for some urgent reason. Because sometimes I was doing some work or maybe ready to go out. Oh, can you speak English? Do you have English? Good, good. Good. Is English good? Yes. Because there are some foreign people here. So I have to speak English. OK. I speak English better. I speak Taiwan better. And I can't speak the same as Chinese people. Sometimes I can speak English better than you can speak Chinese people. I can speak Chinese better than you can speak Chinese people. I can speak Chinese better than you can speak. 连越南话没那么流利，啊，我讲英文习惯了 ，OK， yeah， all right， so do、um, you have any questions here? Since you came from far away, you may ask me whatever you want. If you want, you raise your hand, then the microphone will run to you. No Westerners, no questions. No pregunta. Nada. Bien, <laughs> muy bien. No, they say no. They say nada means no. <laughs> you don't stand in front of her. <laughs> no, okay. And uh, Koreans? You want to No. Make sure you ask good question, otherwise you know, right? At the moment, the screening is very, very... Very tight. Only the good ones can remain around. Yeah? Not that I don't tolerate you. Heavens don't want. Heavens don't want any bad seats around. Those useless or making trouble for nothing, uh, wasting my time, or wasting everybody else's time, and wasting the precious space here. Question. I'm wondering that is uh, how the all store Bodhisattva uh, walking in hell without getting any effect from the uh, hell's atmosphere. Oh, the Bodhisattva in hell helping hell people. How is he not affected? Okay, he is a Bodhisattva. He's not you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he has power. Yeah, and that's his. A job, so-called job. He made a big vow saying that if all the hells are not empty, he would never enter nirvana. He would never become a complete Buddha. So his vow, powerful vow, was backed up by his own spiritual merit since eons and cow bars as endless as the Ganges River sand. Too powerful, yes? And when he made his vow, all the universes witnessed that and helped him, protected him, so that he could do his job in hell. If it's you, or you, 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 anyone goes there, immediately will have trouble, burn or suffer. Cannot even help yourself, not to talk about anybody else. You see, that's why only him in hell. He was too sincere and too powerful. So all the universes helped him also. And he was very unconditional. He wanted nothing at all. Because if we do something and want something in return, then we might be have only that returning thing, but not the end. So unconditional help and love is the answer. He wanted nothing. He just wanted to offer and even sacrifice his Buddha status just to stay a Bodhisattva, you know, second best, so that he could help people in hell. So all his merit will be spent toward this vow, this goal. Thus, he is not harmed. Okay? Right. Don't try. Please. <laughs> and he was very unconditional. 
He wanted nothing at all. Because if we do something and want something in return, then we might be have only that returning thing, but not the end. You understand? So unconditional help and love is the answer. Yeah? He wanted nothing. He just wanted to offer and even sacrifice his Buddha status just to stay a Bodhisattva, you know, second best, so that he could help people in hell. So all his merit will be spent toward this vow, this goal. Thus, he is not harmed. Don't try, please. <laughs> Any other questions? Are you happy with my answer? Uh, if I add one more thing, uh, we really should not try. <laughs> because when you're helping other people, it's the same. We, we, we uh, unvoluntarily, naturally taking karma from people, I feel like we taking some karma from other people and then we get little suffering from other people. Yeah, translate. I think microphone is not good. <laughs> No, the microphone is good. It's just ah, I'm okay. next to the fan. And ah, also, okay. um, you try to formulate simple, huh? Also echo, you see? Tell me. So, uh, Master always tells us that we should not try. We should not try to uh, be like... Uh, also, also <laughs> please, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's really dangerous for us, of course. But it's, uh, when we helping other people who suffer on this earth, it's a little bit like that. A little bit like, like tasting hell. No, it's different than different. helping people in hell. The people here, they suffer, but not like in hell, not like burning every second of the day, every day. No, they have no more mind, they cannot, they suffer, they cannot pray. They don't understand anything anymore. He only helps whoever really can be helped, still has a little understanding and still has a little less suffering. You understand? That's why he has to stay there all the time, because he helps them one by one. Anyone who still has a little understanding, then he can help. Okay, here is different. In the world, people understand intellectually what you're talking about. They are suffering, but not like in hell. In hell, you will suffer, even if you want to go there and help them. Here, you okay, and you can meditate to lessen the karma, okay? It's different. I say, don't try, meaning don't try to go to hell and help the people there, because you will die, you will suffer before you can even help anybody, okay? Huh? The Kwan Yin Bodhisattva, uh, Christi Gaba Bodhisattva, they can. Yeah, they have the power of Oh, cowbars of cowbars, eons of eons of countless eons of meditation, of, of, you know, spiritual power. They save it in a big, big... <laughs> you cannot measure their merit. So even if they use it to help people in hell, they will not be affected. But you, you don't even have any. I mean, general people. Your merit is very, very thin or zero, below zero. That's why I said, don't try. Like, jokingly, but seriously, don't try to go to hell. Well, you can't anyway. You cannot go there. Just like you cannot go to heaven, you also cannot go to hell if you don't have any power. You, you will be stopped right at the gate anyway. If you have no business going to hell, they'll stop you there. You're not allowed to just go to hell if you want to even if you want to. Only those who have work to do there then can go, huh? Yes. The earth store Bodhisattva, when he or she was not yet a Bodhisattva, she was a filial daughter. Yeah, and her mother died and she wanted to find her mother. And because in her lifetime, her mother never did anything good, also did things bad. Uh, maybe slandering practitioners, true monks and nuns and all that, similar to Mauda Glayayana, her mother. Uh, so she went to hell. And she 
this daughter eh, was very sincere and, and very pure in the heart and very filial. She, she was praying, praying all the time. So one of the bodhisattvas came and helped her, saying, if you want, you can go to hell. you see her there. And that's how. That's how she could go, by the power of the Buddha, her master at that time. Otherwise, she could not even enter. And then when she finally was able to enter hell, they call her even Bodhisattva, saintly being, what are you trying to do here? Can I help you? If you are not powerful, then you cannot get there and be treated like that. Okay? You could not even get in anyway. It's like a prison in our earth. You have to be relatives or friends of the prisoners, even in order to go there to look. Some prisoners not even allow visitors. You know that. Huh? Not like, okay, it's a bad area, <laughs> unwanted anyway, so I can go in if I want. No, cannot. <laughs> okay? Heaven is as difficult to enter as hell is. Huh? Yes. Just like you cannot enter any government building if you have nothing to do there, or the presidential palace. The same, you can enter any prison at will. I'm just saying, don't try, but of course you cannot. You can't go there, unless you have affinity, okay? Yeah, right. Just like Mount Gyalayana, because he was Buddha's disciple, and he was one of the top disciples, so he had the power to visit hell. Otherwise, even other monks could not, yeah? So th that filial daughter, later, she saw so much suffering in the hell, and all the wardens, the gods of the hells, explained to her why these hell people suffer like that, and why those hell people suffer like that, and why those hell people suffer like that. And she saw, wow, oh, such a heartbreaking suffering, mind-blowing that she could not bear it. That's why she made a vow that she would save, she would help in hell, because of the love she had for her mother. She felt that if her mother suffered like that, and others suffer like that, they're just the same as her mother. So she felt love for them also. She felt sympathy, compassion toward all of these suffering hell's people. That's why she made a vow to say, if the hells are not empty, I will not become the Buddha. That's the greatest vow you ever heard, okay, in the creation. You can't do that. Most people on this planet love very thin, almost zero, I mean real love. Married very thin, below zero. If you don't have the power of the Master, meaning all the saints, now saying to help you, you never get out. Not to talk about going to hell or helping anybody else or helping people here on the planet even, yeah? You rely on the Master power to do anything you do. Hmm? So even if you do something good, don't be too proud, because if you are proud of what you're doing, you think that you're doing that and you're great, then the negative power, the Maya, will take that merit from you. Anything that you think in the realm of the mind, intellectual, or physical, all belongs to the shadow world. Anything you lick out above on the spiritual realm, if you lick anything out from here, you talk about it, you think about it, understand? Then it belongs to the shadow world, and the shadow world is governed by Maya, and you're lost. And if you talk more about that, <laughs> you will all, <laughs> meaning you have to do again and again, as many times as you boast about your, your good deed. So many times you have to redo it. And if you don't have a chance to redo it, then you have the debt for the thing that you say you did and you did not. You got that? Yes. Okay. If you are all so powerful, <laughs> you could go to hell, rescue other people. I wouldn't have to sit here, okay? I could sit in my cave and hug my dog people, <laughs> pet, pet them, give them food. That's the happiest time of my day, every day, when I can be with my dog people, surrounded by 
unconditional love and true affection. I feel very happy. And I give them something, they eat with their tail wagging, and then they lick my toes with all gratitude and love. Even if I don't give them anything, I walk in the house and they come and lick my toes. <laughs> and some jump on my shoulders, some lick my face, some lick my hands, some lick the toe. <laughs> the small one licks the toe, cannot jump up, can, but doesn't feel like it. More respectful, yeah? And good love comes and smears his head around. Yeah, that kind of life I like. I don't really like to sit here talking to you. <laughs> well, it's not that I don't like it. What I mean is I don't desire anything, okay? I do it because it's my duty to remind you to practice. When you see me, you feel like renewing your faith, yeah? Maybe some, yeah, and then then you practice harder and then you can rescue yourself, redeem your sins, and help your five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten generations. That's what I want, okay? Yes. Not that I don't like you. I'm happy to see you, that you come. But I'm also happy to be alone. That is a thing. You understand? I don't desire to see you so that I can be happy. Well, I have desires. I have desire. I want to stay alone <laughs> with my dog people. But, but it's okay to come see you, okay? It's not like if I don't see you, I feel something itching or missing somewhere. If I didn't have any disciples at all, I prefer that I sit in a cave <laughs> doing nothing, <laughs> doing something else, something invisible to you. Hmm? Ah, because... Sometimes when I meditate, I can help even more, more other people who need help. Like one day I was sitting, I was just doing my job, you know, paperwork for SMTV or taxes, so whatever I can remember. And then there came a message saying, your former disciple is repenting. She is going to hell in three seconds. You forgive her or not? I had three seconds to drop everything and go and negotiate and correct the course and connect with the, you know, whatever negative authority I had to deal with. If I say no, then that person would go to hell forever because he's done very, very bad things to me, which I don't want to tell you. Sometimes I even don't understand how so-called disciples or former, like she left, understand me, she left our group, she left me for some reason. Maybe she came in not sincere already. She just wanted to see if I was any better than her because she learned magic power and all that stuff. And it's easier to use magic in this world. You can see the results, you can feel like you have the power to control things, to change things in some way. And then you feel so proud. She just came in to check me out, and then, of course, she didn't feel like anything. She still had to use her power. It's, just, it's more ego, uh, how you say, ego flattering, yeah? It's like Maura Galayana, even though he followed the Buddha already, it was still very difficult to put down the magic that he used. It was easier for him to use that. If you don't harm anybody and you don't compete with other magicians, then you will not have much trouble. But if you do, they will get more and more of their, uh, how you say, retinue. And then all together, they will, they will uh, manifest the power that you alone, even so powerful, cannot defeat. Understand that? That's why he died miserably in a kind of septic tank. Okay? Now, this person, so-called your sister, former, uh, abandoned me and my teaching and went back to her former life. Okay, fine. And why she has to even do something bad, using that to harm the master, who does nothing harmful to her. Or maybe there's something she doesn't like about me and then she thinks, I need punishment. 
But I have my job. Hmm? I have my job to do. I do everything accordingly. I have to wear a good hat, nice clothes, high heels. I have to do everything accordingly. Because if I don't, it's not according to the heaven's plan. I have to do like that. This is a funny heaven's plan, but it is like that. So that some people will recognize me in that way, the good ones, the sincere ones, the ones who can see through any physical obstacle and illusion to find a gem. So now, in this time of life, of our period of the war, I have to do like that. Formerly, I didn't have to. Formerly, I was a monk. But when I was a king, I probably had to wear also a jeweled crown and everything. It do according to heaven's plan at the different periods of time of our world, okay, in order to help sentient beings. It's a plan like that. It's the price like that. It's the overall kind of organization, arrangement that you go accordingly. It's some kind of screening also, kind of method, a little screening. But in order to screen or go according to the plan like that, there is also advantage and disadvantage. You screen out the people who are not sincere, who are more blind than the rest, than others, but you also incur some jealousy, wrath by others who are worse than these uh, judgmental people. And if they have power, you know, magical power, black magic, they, they will try to kind of <laughs> show up. Quite a few times, people try to harm me with magic, quite a few times, not just one time, not just my so-called disciples or former disciples, but outsiders also. Disciples are quite a few, trying so hard to see whether or not I'm tough enough to withstand their magical harm something like that. Sometimes I can withstand, sometimes it hurts. It hurts not completely, like I die or anything, but it harms, like I get sick for a long time because it's too near, you understand, a disciple, a good connection, a very near connection. And if, if I return that power, then that person will be completely destroyed, completely will become dust. Yeah? No more existence, no more soul, really, forever. So sometimes, just have to bear it. But then that person cannot escape the karma. And she or he thinks, oh, nothing happened to me, I tried to harm her, well, she cannot do anything to me, and I'm still well. But she doesn't know when the time comes. They still have to go to hell. And very deep, dark, forever. So in three seconds, I have to drop everything. Sometimes three, four minutes, sometimes only seconds. When I got the message, it was kind of almost late. Because I'm busy, you know, I cannot always <laughs> take the message, yeah? So I needed to drop everything and go into deep meditation to negotiate. It cannot be easy, like sit here and say, oh, I forgive her. I forgive, no problem. It doesn't work like that. You have to negotiate. You have to lose something. You have to exchange something. You have to hurt yourself or something in order for that person to be free. But this is a lucky case that I was informed, present and unoccupied, and could hear the message that a former disciple was repenting and was going to hell in three seconds asking Master if she forgives. I normally shouldn't be busy, but I suddenly become busy. And so sometimes I want to see you, but then I'm busy. A sudden event like that, I cannot come out. Last night I promised you I could not. Something happened, okay? <laughs> All right. So sometimes I'm, I'm just so tired and I ask heaven, why is it that my own disciples even tried to harm me? And they told me to do this and that. Maybe it helps to prevent or to protect from disciples' secret curse. That was exactly their words. I quote it, okay? 
disciples secret curse. I said, why secret curse? Why? What have I done to them? Did I owe them something in a former life? Did I harm them in some way? Then I'm willing to repay. He said, no, no, no. And I quote heaven again. Uh, True seekers are rare. That I quote heaven, end quote. So some of you are sometimes crazy, because that's what will come out saying that they are already a Buddha and all that. Please don't dream. It's not easy to be a master. It's not be easy to be famous of any kind already. Not to talk about being a master and, and, and taking in disciples. Your sister, she said she helped somebody because she, she felt that they needed help and, you know, wanted to help them so that they are free and elevated and all that. But then she felt the karma coming. <laughs> it, would be, it would be weird if you don't feel the karma coming. Just don't do it with the ego. But it still has some effect, though. Do it, feeling the Master does it, then you will be free from karma, okay? Don't ever feel that you do it, then you're free. Yeah? Credit it to the Master and let the Master take care of the suffering or whatever karma, okay, huh? Mm. That's a secret. Just credit it to the Master. Don't ever take it upon yourself, because the beings on this planet are heavily laden with karmas and bad concepts and are so poisoned life after life. They cannot, they cannot help it, okay? They cannot help it. The maya, the devil force has been ruining them, damaging them a lot. Therefore, even masters come and go, Jesus, Buddha, Prophets, all kinds of prophets, all kinds of masters come and go. Humans are still hanging around, being reborn again and again from different status to another different status. Huh? If it's so easy just to help anybody or to jump into hell and rescue everybody, <laughs> then all the masters would be sitting pretty, doing nothing. You can wish me? Yes. Ah, okay, right. Which is a small question, and I talk a lot, <laughs> just to make you understand, okay? Just one answer is not good enough. I have to give you example and stuff, okay? To drive it home, you know? And make your mind really understand. Your soul understands everything. Your mind doesn't. And it is your mind that the soul has to deal with in order to get liberation. If I just deal directly with the souls, ah, oh, so pretty. The souls understand everything. Just have to go through the mind in order to have action. And we still need the mind to work here. And the soul has to work through the mind in order to help the world or not help the world. <laughs> That's why we have problems. Now you understand? Yes. Ah. Is there any other question? Are you satisfied already? Yes. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Oh, you done? Yes. Okay. Any other people? But I'm glad you asked, so that I can explain, okay? Otherwise, I would not think of all these things and to tell you things that, that have been happening a long time and that I forgot already, like the three seconds or three minutes stuff. It happened a long time already, but I have not told you. I don't always remember. <laughs> I'm busy with other things. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you then. <laughs> I think they all thank you <laughs> for a good question. Any more questions? So I have another calendar. Yes. <laughs> Where are you? Um, Master. Where are you? Raise hand. Oh, over there, corner. Yeah, tell me. I need a translator. I cannot speak English. Right? You cannot speak English? You, uh, okay. Who are you? Japanese? Korea? Korean? Yes, I'm Korean. Okay, Korea translation. You talk. She translates. 예, 저희 남북 관계 평화 정착을 위해서 애써 주시는 스승님께 너무나 깊은 감사를 드립니다. We would like to thank Master for helping and caring for reunification of North and South Korea. 아. 예, 그래서 남북 평화가 정착이 되기 위해서는 우선 있어야 할 일이 이제 북미 간의 완전한 비핵 협상입니다. 그 비핵 협상이 완전히 타결되기 위해서는 
어, 문재인 대통령의 그 노력이 도움이 굉장히 절실한 상황인데 지금 과연 이 북미 간의 완전한 비핵화 협상이 문재인 대통령 임기 안에 이루어질 수 있는지 그게 상당히 궁금합니다. 문재인 대통령이 뭐요? 북미 간 비핵화 협상. 예, 완전. Uh, for reunification of North and South Korea, the important thing is that North Korea and America has to deal with the denuclearization okay. of North okay. Korea. Yes. And President Moon Jae-in is trying hard for it, but what he can do more? What more can he do? But the North Korean leader promised that he will. He doesn't want nuclear weapons anyway. He's going to destroy it. He said he will wipe out every trace of the war. 김정은 수령은 이미 그 문제에 대해서 비핵화 하겠다고 약속을 했고 이제 비핵화를 할 것인데 문재인 대통령이 yeah. 뭘더 해야 하냐고 말씀하십니다. He will denuclearize everything. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tong. Uh, uh, one, one more. Uh, why question. doesn't he know that? He doesn't know that. He doesn't read newspapers. He doesn't sit on the TV. I know more than you. I'm not Korean. 네, 한국 한국 사람도 아닌데 왜 모르세요? 왜 모르시나요? 네. Yeah. Recently, even we aired on Supreme Master TV. Mr. Kim Jong Un, the dear comrade, he said, "I am a husband." He said that he's a husband and he's a father also. He doesn't want his children to have to live with nuclear all their life. It's so clear already. Why do you ask me? President Moon Jae-in did his best, and they are doing their best already. There's not much more that President Moon Jae-in has to do about denuclearization anymore, because the North leader already completely wants that to happen. So why he asked me this question? Oh, because Moon Jae-in has been in the past few years. 다른 정당에서 정권을 장악하게 되면 남북 관계가 상당히 교착 상태로 빠질 그런 우려성이 많다고 보여지기 때문입니다. Because after President Moon Jae-in's um, period of period of time of working, then other party will take over. Oh, I see. And uh, maybe their position will change. So that's why he's asking. Uh, I understand. Yeah. It depends also on the people of Korea and the world, and Americans, karma, and, 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 yeah? But I think the next president, whoever, President Moon Jae-in cannot be one more time, cannot be voted in one Korea, more time. Well, um, only one time? Cannot, yeah, only one, one time. time? Yes. Oh, but he will have a successor. He will have his appointed successor, and they will carry the same policy. Hmm? Thank you, Master. Translate? Ah, yes, translation. You, ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Heavenly ears. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. I myself could help a little bit more if I have more time to meditate for your country alone, but I don't have a lot of time. Everybody take a piece of me. Everything's not the way it seems. I tell you this to explain this to you. Everything comes to your master only. I don't mind suffering, I don't mind pain, but if I keep continuing, how do I have time to do many other things? It's more urgent, more pressing. If I keep on entertaining people or being just polite and loving and kind, then I have no time at all. There are differences between love and compassion. There's difference between inner salvation and outside politeness or, or caring actions for one group, instead of one world. And you, like children, don't know anything. Just so happy-go-lucky. It's fine. I don't want you to experience any hardship, suffering, or pain. But just please do know, don't keep asking for things that are not really good for the general world or universe, okay? Maybe it's good for one group or good for you, but not good for everyone else. I already have a lot of work within my own domain, like spiritual work and taking care of you and taking care of the Supreme Master TV for the world already. Every other extra work is an extra burden for me. 
and take care of my precious time. Do you capish? Yes. My time is counted as seconds. You have no idea. Because outside you're just working every day and you forget that time goes fast. You are young, mostly young, and you don't understand how precious it is for me now. Even this morning, not just now, when I try to dress myself and put some color dust on my face, I was thinking, I wish I had all this power and wisdom when I was younger, when I had more physical strength and time. And I was crying. I still feel like crying now. But that's the way it is. And now, everybody wants to take a piece of my time. People invite me to go here, invite me to go there. I have to refuse, refuse and refuse. So every extra work, takes extra burden. It's not fun. I don't always show that in public. There are two sides, yeah? I'm smiling, enjoying things, but on the other side, it's different. So you don't think it's so easy just to enjoy. I don't enjoy anything in this world, to tell you the truth, okay? Nothing here that I can not throw out, okay? I do everything just for the world, for helping people, if I want to. <laughs> I can go anywhere, anytime I want. Your performance here also is as beautiful. I have no need to go anywhere. Even your performance, I'm also there only for your sake. If I want to see anything, I go to theater. Huh? I can watch movies. I don't even have the time to watch any movies or any news outside except working on Supreme Master TV and for you and anything concerning our group and the world. I have not watched any movies for long, at least one year now. And before that one year, I didn't watch anything. Also, when the Supreme Master TV team first came, I watched with them for some time, you know, once a week or something, but for all a few weeks only for the work, and then no more. Since then, no more. I have no time. Also, I'm not interested. And even if I'm interested, I have no time, I can't afford it. Sometimes at night I come home after pleasing everybody and I drop dead. I really want to meditate, but I drop dead. If I'm holding on to some fan, remote control or something, I should drop them. And I drop myself also. <laughs> so I don't dare to sit on anything high in case I fall down. You see, I have to explain all this, yeah? You always dig out everything all the secrets for me. All right then, anything else? Because if I don't tell you, you don't understand. And then you think I'm strict with you, or I don't want to see you, or I neglect you, and all of that. So I have to tell you, huh? I did not intend to come here to tell you this. No, it was not in my plan. <laughs> I just wanted to go out to praise the people who take in the homeless, just for everybody else to to have an example. Hmm? If you can, not just in Taiwan, but everywhere, if you take in the homeless, one or two, depending on if you have a room or not, they'll be just happy to live in your garage as long as it's warm and protected from the elements and some clothes to wear, some food to eat. Hmm? Yeah, somebody wants to ask a question? Yeah. Yeah, sister. Hello, Master. Hello. Uh, 먼저 한 가지를 서울센터 동수들과 같이 나눔을 하고 스승님께 질문을 올리겠습니다. Translate for me. Uh, she's going to ask a question on Korea Soul Center. Korea what? Soul Center. A Soul Center, okay. 어제 저는 uh, 스승님의 uh, 한국 옷을 입는 일을 도와드렸습니다. Yesterday, she helped you wear Korean costume. Yesterday, yes. 그 일이 끝나고 나서 스승님께서는 스승님 자신이 입으셨던 옷을 서울센터에 기념으로 주셨습니다. 어제 저녁 늦게 가지고 내려와서 오늘 아침 연락인한테만 말씀을 드리고 여러분한테는 말씀을 못 드려서 이 기, 서울센터 사람들과 같이 나누고 싶어서 먼저 얘기를 올리겠습니다. Well, she helped you wear a costume yesterday. 
-hmm. And after that, after that, I gave her the clothes to, her to give them to the soul center as the souvenir, right? <laughs> yeah, I know it because I gave it to her. And then, what's her question? Yeah, you were wearing costume in such a bad condition, and the costume was not one layer, it was in a multiple layer, so uh -huh. you were suffering so much in the costume, so she wants to thank Master for trying You're welcome. So it was in the middle of the mountain, so there were so many mosquitoes. Any mosquitoes? Oh, they bite them? No, no. Bite me? Yeah. yeah sure, sure. I have a lot. <laughs> How surprising. So what then? So what then? When Master was hugging Korean artist, she could tell that they were feeling so touched inside, like their real parent was hugging them. Oh, hugging who? Korean artist. Oh, okay, okay. So, 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 She's really feeling sorry for you for not helping you properly yesterday, like not all the what? disciples. Didn't, didn't dress properly? No, for supporting you. Like she could not support you well, so she felt very sorry for Master. How, how does she know how much she had to support? She helped me wear the clothes as well. I didn't expect anything because the uh, Korean clothes, I can't dress alone. <laughs> so I had to ask a Korean person to help me. They know how, that's all. Yeah. They suggested it. The Korean Soul Center suggested, Master, we send you a person in case you need to wear the Korean costume. So I asked her to help. Hmm. <laughs> Yesterday, she, wa she wanted to help you more and support you better and um, tell, speak with you, communicate with you better, but she could not do well, so she was wondering if that's the effect of Maya. Ah, it's never mind, it's gone, whatever, Maya or not. It's past already. She keeps crying all the time, why? <laughs> it was a good thing, no? That she could help me, right? And then we celebrated Korean peace. Nothing bad? Why is she crying? Ask her. Uh, 스승님께서는 어제 그렇게 의상을 입고 옆에 계속 계실 수 있었으니까 좋은 일 아니냐고 말씀하십니다. Mm. Yeah, how many people want to help me and cannot? <laughs> Explain. Yeah, 많은 사람들이... Ah, they have yeah. translation. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. Luckily, the Seoul Center sent a note like that. Otherwise, I forget I would have not remember that somebody could help me, and then I'd probably take longer <laughs> to wear the costume. Yeah, yeah. And you, sometimes you have to put it behind or in front. Oh, God, being a woman is so complicado. <laughs> Mucho, muy, muy complicado. Oh, huh? <laughs> being a, I uh, say, guapa mujer, mucho complicado, muy, 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 muy complicado. <laughs> I say, wanting to be a beautiful woman is very complicated, yes. It's for Korea, yeah, I did all that, yeah? I'd rather wear just anything, yeah, like usual, simple. Look, cover, you know, <laughs> it's good enough. And respectful, it's good enough, okay, huh? Yeah, never mind. In life, we don't always do what we like. And we do what is good for others. The Korean people, on their important day, they would be happier to see me in their own costume. And I also asked the responsible person to put the Koreans in the front, the frontmost, yeah? 
because it's their day, I said like that. So they did arrange for all the Korean people to sit in front, as front as possible. And of course, they picked the ones with, you know, more decoration, <laughs> beautiful clothes for the occasion. Not that we discriminate uh, that you should wear more beautiful clothes or not. It's just that day, if somebody wore beautiful clothes, we put them in the front with Korean traditional clothes. And I also wore it. It was so hot. <laughs> I was dripping, dripping all over inside. Uh, luckily, the Korean clothes have many layers. You don't see the sweat. Otherwise, it would stick all over me, <laughs> like glue. Uh, <laughs> inside, many layers. Uh, so if you sweat, you don't see. So Koreans are very smart. Huh? <laughs> Look beautiful, but cool. No sweating, no. <laughs> you can say no sweat, but <laughs> you're sweating all over. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to ask her one question. Yesterday, I was feeding the duck, and she was also crying. I don't know why. Everything happy, she cries. <laughs> she was there already, you know, because I took her back so that she could help me to take off the clothes as well. It was quicker than me fumbling all, all over myself, not being used to it. And then I also wanted to give that uh, set of clothes to the soul center. Of course, uh, I could give them to many other meditation centers, but Seoul is the capital. So if anyone wants to see it, they can go there. And I wanted to give them that to remind them of the one-year anniversary of Korea's peace. So I, I wanted her to come with me, so I could give her the clothes. But before that, I just put on the bathrobe quickly, and then I went out and fed the ducks, and she <laughs> followed me outside. The ducks and the fish were outside. I said, today we celebrate. You also should celebrate. I gave them bread, you know, the chop chop bread already. The kitchen, they always prepare some toast, like square bread, but the wholemeal bread and the chop, very small, like finger dots for me. So when I went there, I took the bag and then I threw it for them. The fish and the ducks ate together. It may not be uh, their food, but they love it so much. Hundreds of fish are jumping all over whenever I go out and they eat together. And then she was crying too. Ah, it's not a sad occasion, is it? Yeah, Korean peace is not a sad occasion. And my peace in so close is not sad. She cried. And I fit the ducks so nothing to do with Korea. They're also crying. Why? <laughs> huh? I said, why? The fish were happy. <laughs> the ducks were happy. <laughs> and they were eating all like a big festival. Why was she crying? 어제 왜 물고기한테 밥 주고 걔들하고 같이 산책할 때 우셨냐고 물으세요. And now she can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I have happy occasion, I don't dare really take her anymore. I was worried. I said, what's wrong? What's wrong? Something wrong? And she couldn't speak either. So up to now, I still don't know why she cried. Maybe she didn't like the fish. <laughs> All the ducks. <웃음> What's then? 아닙니다. 스승님께서 너무나 열악한 환경에서도 묵묵히 모범을 보여주시는 걸 보고 감동을 받았거니와 또한 저를 위해서 얼마나 희생하셨는지 알고 있습니다. 그래서 감사의 말씀과 죄송하다 말씀을 드려야 되는데 그렇게 그 자리에서 표현하는 것이 옳은지 그냥 기다리고 있어야 되는 건지 제대로 몰랐습니다. She knows how hard you tried for the event and like how much effort you put into the event and she knows how much you sacrificed for her. So she didn't know how to express her feeling or she, if she would, should wait till expressing her feeling. So she was just crying there. What did I do for her? She helped me. Why did they sacrifice for her? <laughs> I didn't sacrifice for you. I just needed you to help me to wear the difficult dress. 어제 스승님을 도와주신 건 사전님이신데 왜왜 <웃음> 사전님께서 오셨냐고 물으세요. I didn't sacrifice for you. Sorry about that. Wrong impression. Yeah. Anyway, you don't know the Korean dress look beautiful, right? Yeah. But it's very difficult to wear. You must wear it correctly, otherwise it will look funny. Yeah. Or you could not wear it at all. <웃음> Once it's on, oh, it really looks regal, yeah? And they can wear it in a different style, different way, but still looks Korean. 
people still recognize it is Korean dress for sure. They will not mistake it for Chinese dress or for Vietnamese dress or Japanese dress or any other dress. A very unique, yeah. Even if they make a different style or a different way to wear it, still the same Korean. Yesterday, many different styles of Korean dress. Still, you know it is Korean dress. Yes. I like it. It's just you need a mate too. <laughs> you need somebody around to help you so that you cannot fold it yourself. You have to fold it properly, otherwise it becomes creased up. You have to hang it well, otherwise you cannot wear it. And after wearing it, you have to know how to wash it. I don't know what kind of machine is suitable for that, but it's truly it's something. It's for royalty only. They can't afford it every day. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not in Korea. Otherwise, I have to often wear that. And I have to sacrifice for another person <laughs> like her. And then she crying all the time. Don't cry anymore. You must be happy. My God. You know, I was in a hurry. Because she told me, she warned me in advance, it takes half an hour at least to put on that beautiful dress. Half an hour, mind you, okay? How long does it take to put your clothes on? Five minutes, right? This, yeah? Five minutes max. Men, also women. Today, I don't know who's men, who's women, they wear similar. Yeah, all jeans and <laughs> t-shirts. So, five minutes or ten maximum, right? Half an hour to put on the Korean outfit so you can understand how complicated it is. And if I were alone, it would take half a day at least, if I could even manage, okay? Luckily, the soul people knew it. They said, Master, in case you need it. Of course I need it, not in case or out of case. <laughs> 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 I could never manage it. No one could. Uh, maybe the Koreans, they have a trick. I don't know, but I'm not used it. Uh, yeah, and I was in a hurry already. Of course, before that, I had to... Uh, sign papers and check many documents. And then I was, you know, concentrating and doing that. And luckily, I put the alarm on, you know. Oh, my God, got to go. Oh, at least half an hour to wear the dress and then some makeup. Oh, my God, yeah, I got to run. <laughs> I was thinking, as usual, you know, because when you work every day, you just think of usual things. But yesterday was different. I was thinking after I finished my paperwork, which is a lot, I'm going to... I would say, reward myself with the waiting breakfast. But they said, no, no, you have to go. My God, you can't. <laughs> and then I run over there. And then she worried too much about many things. I asked her to come, and she came fine. And then she, instead of concentrating on helping me to wear, she Master, I'm thanking you for, uh, I don't remember any of this and that. I said, oh, please, don't, no, just do the job. <laughs> Just help me to do an address. <laughs> I don't have time. You can thank me later, you know. But see, on and on. And then, and then she explained to me also the history of how to wear the dress and all that stuff. I said, oh, later, later, please, just put it on first. <laughs> That's how much I had to sacrifice. So. <laughs> yeah. This is a problem also that I could not help, help people to help me, yeah? The, the ones around me, they don't know anything for a special occasion. My helpers only can fit the door, people, yeah? Maybe sometimes they help me with bringing heavy things into my place, because I cannot do it alone, for example, like that. But if they help me to wear a Korean dress, then I think we both will be lost, and the performance will never take place. But if I ask somebody, like, for example, your sister there, yeah, never been so close to me, never helped me with anything, then they begin with the history of their life. <sighs> my God, I was thinking, please forget that I'm a master. I just need you to put the dress on. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> but I was also worried in my heart that if I say to her like that, I refuse her advice and her history, she probably feel hurt. And, you know, endless. Endless story, so I don't dare to ask anybody to help me at all because of that, because they're not in sync with me. They just have one go, oh, talk to master, my God, it's a rare opportunity. Must talk now or never. What for you have to talk? I know you love me. I know you are thankful. I know everything already. And if you need to, you write a letter in advance. 
and give it to me and I read it later. So I know you love me, I know you are thankful, I know this and that and other and all the story of your life. I had no time, man. Didn't you see that? Huh? Even on such an occasion, any kid five years old would see that I was in a hurry and under time pressure and all kinds of pressure, but you had no idea, did you? You think it's so nice to be a master, always sitting on a high chair and, and everybody got go. And you talk endlessly with your calendar. No, it's not like that. There are things behind I have to worry about. For the event to take place yesterday, for everybody to, to enjoy peace and happiness like that. Not only I had to work hard behind the scenes, many of your brothers and sisters in Taiwan had to close their restaurants to come here to take care of the kitchen or the service. Understand what I'm saying? They had to uh, take a day off, extra off, to come here and be extra bodyguards, extra guards for the house, for the mountain. Our place is very big. And these people, they were so scared. They made me scared too. <laughs> Something might happen. So we had to take precautions, eh? because prevention it's always better than cure, yes. So I might as well do it. So many people sacrifice. They had to take a day off. It's not that easy to just say like that. I want to take a day off next week or next few days. Some people have important jobs in society, not just housewives, huh? Even housewives have difficulty. If you have children and suddenly they're sick, huh? You can't quit. You just have to be there for the child. Many things happen in life all the time. It's not always like tears or peaceful and discussing things. You have to wake up and yeah, consider others, not just yourself all the time. I don't need you to tell me that you are very happy and honored and privileged to put on the dress for me. I know that already, okay? And even if I don't know that, so what? What is so important? I was in a hurry, yeah? So I could make it on time yesterday. But if I sat there and let her finish her story, then I wouldn't see you. If I'm so polite and soft and gentle, say, Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Bravo. Then how do you think I do my job? Huh? So if I ever offend you in that kind of situation, please just forgive me outright and shut up. Okay? <laughs> The best thing for you to do for me when you're next to me, helping me with something, it just zip. One word, zip, okay? I don't need you to thank me or tell me that you are privileged and honor to help me to put on my shoes. My God, what the heck is all that? Huh? Just now and then you have an old helpless woman to put on the shoes. What's so big deal about it? Huh? Is it so big deal? Huh? If you see people on the street outside who maybe uh, her dress is coming down for some reason or her shoes is uh, falling off because she's an old woman, then wouldn't you help her? Yes. yes, the same. I'm an old woman, I need a little help. If you keep doing this, I won't dare to ask anybody. That's why I don't have any help. Yeah, and also whenever any of the people come to work in my house, like repairing something, or anywhere, or my cave even, so little as, so primitive as my cave, I even need people go there sometimes. And it's not ending there. But I always have to run away, so they don't, you know, give the story of their life and all this appreciation with a black, maybe for the privilege of <laughs> repairing my floor. For example, I always run away whenever they work. I have to tell them what, 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 and then I run. But because of that, sometimes they do things they're not supposed to do. I always have to run away so they don't give the story of their life and all this appreciation with the black, maybe for the privilege of <laughs> repairing my floor. For example, I always run away whenever they work. I have to tell them what, 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 and then I run. But because of that, sometimes they do things that not supposed to do. You want to hear or not? No. You don't want. 
Why so quiet? <laughs> you want to hear or not hear? And why you were so quiet? Is that politeness? Huh? Is it politeness or you want to hear? <laughs> now I ask you and you don't tell me. And when I'm busy, then you want to tell me the whole thing. Your heart feeling, your privilege. I just needed quickly to be here on time. Thousands of people were waiting. And the troop came from far away, came here for the show. I could not just stay here and listen to you. Or can I? You think I could? No. no. I even forgot my breakfast. Okay, now, for example, because I'm not there, sometimes I don't do things accordingly. If I was there, I would tell, oh, no, no, don't do that. For example, my cave, there is a platform very high, like this, yeah? And before, before we came, they put the statue of the first patriarch of Zen, Bodhidharma, there. After we bought it, because the statue belonged to them, they moved it away. And there was some cement uh, pointed and all that, uh, rough, and, uh, that they glued, you know. It was uh, very rough and pointed. You couldn't even put up a tent up there, apart from all the water running. Okay. So afterward, they were very kind. They helped me to fix the roof of the cave. So the water is running very less now, oh, only a little bit. It's very bearable. Before, it was like flood, like a swimming pool. But I did not care. <laughs> I did not care. It was them who had the idea. And they bought everything already before they told me. Then I said, oh, I have to think about it. To let somebody keep climbing on the roof, I said, I don't really need it. I have a tent, even if the floor is flooded and the water dropping, it affects me not. Yeah. <laughs> but then later, because I needed to work here, they brought some more clothes in, and then I had to buy some plastic cupboards to put them in. Then I say, I'm fine, no need to fix the roof. But they say they already prepared it, and they are going to work tomorrow. I say, what? Why didn't you tell me long ago before you bought They say already in the morning they will begin to work on it. They didn't know they should tell me in advance, so they didn't tell. So I said, okay, never mind. How long will it take you? They say maybe two, three days. Oh my God. And then where do I live? I had to move, live with the dog people. They say, it's okay, fine. Since you already prepare and have all the men ready to come, you do it then. Not two days, four or five days. I can't remember how long. <laughs> it's okay. That was no big deal. And then they wanted also to flatten that platform where the cement was, you know, sticking up like a mountain, a small mountain. You couldn't put up a tent there because the tent would be pierced at the bottom. I say, what are you going to do? Because there's a lot of cement sticking up there. They say, just flatten it a little bit, and then we put the wood on top, and then it's okay. I thought that's what they do. No, they didn't. But okay, I said, all right, then do that. How long it take? Oh, half a day, no problem. All right, because they did it somewhere else before. It took only half a day. And they put up the big tent so that I could stay there, better than the tent I had. They thought it was too small. I said, but for, yeah, I am small. It's good enough, actually, you know. But fine, they did it, because by the way, they were fixing something, so they did that. And afterward, I realized that they were not just doing there. They fixed my floor as well put all the wood, fake wood, the imitation wood, on the floor, because the wood would be rotten so quick. So when I asked them, they said, three days, Master. I said, what? Just a little two square meters and put wood on top? How come it takes three, four days? And then I realized that they fixed all the floor as well. And the cement, they didn't just uh, level a little bit. They took everything off and they put cement flat. That takes longer, of course, because I wasn't there. It's always the same. I can't be there. I don't like to be there because I would have to listen to the story. <laughs> and I don't have time. And if I tell them I don't want to listen, I don't have time, then I might offend them. People are sensitive for no reason. So it's not easy, yeah? Later they told me, Master, we fixed the roof, but there's still some places that are leaking that uh, dropping on the floor. We saw it when we were making the floor. I said, no, no, it's okay. It's <laughs> a very small thing. They dry up quickly, not like before. 
They drive quickly. Don't, don't worry about it. I said, thank you, thank you. I don't want them. I said, no, no, it's good, it's good. It's very good right now. It's excellent. Please, don't worry. It's good. Because I didn't want any more. Actually, before, it was okay. All you needed, that thing to fix, to put the tent on, easier. And then they did the whole floor. And if I ask them to fix these too few, drop, 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 maybe they do something else. I don't know. <laughs> so, I, don't, I don't want to bother people to work so hard. Before, I did not even care about the floor or putting a wood deck on top. I don't need it. They said, Master, but water everywhere. Even after they fixed the roof, the water didn't come from the roof, but came from uh, the wall, you know, leaking and from underground sometimes, or from the rain from outside. And because of that, they wanted to fix the door as well. <laughs> the door is not a real door. It's just like a fence put up, and then you put a plastic sheet on it to stop the rain and the wind. In winter, I cut it off so it's cooler. But then the rain comes in, understand? But it's not much better than before. Before, I didn't care even if the, the, or the rain wet all over the floor. It dropped from the ceiling some, and, and then, of course, it's all over the floor. They say, well, Master, we have to fix this. It's the water all over. I say, don't care. I had a tent, <laughs> and this floor, all this floor, I treat it like a, like a highway, you know, like a, like a road. I don't live on the floor. There's a higher platform in there, and I put the tent on it. That's enough, and I wear the shoes to walk in and out. And if it's wet, I wear higher shoes. If it's dry, I just wear slippers. Only when it rains, when it's not raining, it doesn't matter. I don't treat it like something important. But of course, it's good for, of them, you know. They worry about me and they fixed it. But I did not want it. I did not intend to. So if I ask something, something else will also be done and then it takes forever. And I don't need that. Similarly, so many other things. If they fix something here, but that wasn't the worst case. It's good now. It also looks better and cleaner. And whatever rain or leaking, it goes under the wood and I don't see much. Just a little bit now. It's also not bad, not bad. If the dog people come in, they don't have to dirty, muddy their feet. It's also not bad. And when I change clothes, sometimes I don't have to worry so much because if you're not careful, uh, your trousers will drop. <laughs> You know, the under part, the lower part will drop into the water and it gets wet and you have to change to another one, etc., etc. But that's not the worst case. It's good that they did that. It came out good. But another thing, they fix something to screen something for privacy so people don't see it. And then they walk on top of my temporary bathroom. It's about this square and then on top they made it with very thin metal or plastic something, and they walk on it to fix that. They did not have to, because the other places nearby, they didn't have to. And they can use ladder, you know, but they walk on top of my bathroom, uh, this uh, building kind of temporary bathroom. And the roof bent downward, yeah? <laughs> Before the roof was like this, you see what I mean? Then the water would come down, no problem. And now the roof became like this. And I can't <laughs> close the door. I can't open the door. And if I do by force, the water that's saved from the rain is all over me. I habitually close the door and open, of course. And many times I got free shower like that. It's okay, normally I can go change. But once I'm already, you know, like uh, made up and wear and it's all over, then Sometimes I can't come out. It's, it's not quick enough to dry my hair and to do makeup again. So it's not like always free of charge. Eh? Mm. And they use the sink, the out, outdoor sink that I use outside to wash hands. They use it to drill things, on, like a working table. And so they put holes in my sink as well. The new sink, they just made it, for example, like that. So it is... Uh, scary to have people in your place. They fix one thing, they break another. And if you yell at them or scold them, then they get offended. So I just zip and then I continue whatever. Yeah. Now you know. So if you come and help me, please be careful, be mindful of my property. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay then. Right, talk a lot. Oh my God. Time to go to eat now, yeah, guys? Mm. It's four o'clock, huh? If you don't have any more questions, I go, huh? No? What do you mean no? What do I do here? Sit here? My calendar is run out. <laughs> It took effort to come here to see you, because I don't like to put on a dress. It's just I have to. It's a rule. It's a rule of my job. It belongs to the job. <laughs> Do you ever watch some... Long time ago, I watched some of the series, Monk. You saw? American series. It's uh, about a detective. It's okay, it's not about him, it's about a, a sheriff. He's a police sheriff, you know, the, uh, the captain of the, that uh, office, of a police headquarters. He's the captain of that office, and he wears a mustache. And one time, I don't know, for some reason, he went somewhere else or something, and then his assistant had to replace him. And that guy is not so clever. <laughs> okay, fine, but then he also wears a mustache. So everybody came and looked at him. He's a very young, young guy, and he didn't need a mustache. They asked him, oh, you have a mustache now? He said, it belongs to the job. <laughs> what is that? What? On your face, on, on, your, on your lip. Looks a little bit like a mustache. Well, I'm in charge. It comes with a job. Maybe a captain has to wear a mustache. <laughs> Maybe <he> like that. <laughs> so this also belongs to the job. Hmm? So if you become my successor, or oh, you wear what you want, okay, please, or don't wear, I don't care, okay? This don't belong to your job. It's a different, different karma, different job. <laughs> okay, good, good. Now, I leave so you can go enjoy your dinner, have a little sun while you're still there. At this time, the sun is comfortable. You're welcome. The sun now is very comfortable because it's not too hot now, huh? But you need some sun, okay? Especially when you came from a very, uh, I would say, snowy and wintry country. Take advantage a little bit of the sun. Eat in the sun, okay? Yeah, sit in the sun. All right. I see you when I see you, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. <laughs> How long will they stay? 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 Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tomorrow they are yeah, they're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Why so hurry? Why? Why so fast? Why so fast? Why so <laughs> they have jobs? <laughs> they have a lot of things to do. Oh, of course. None so busy, huh? Uh, uh, when you think by leaving your home, you have nothing to do, you're wrong. Uh. <laughs> the nuns are more punctual than you. Every time they come, they immediately go afterward. I mean, if, if you say, two days retreat, that's all they stay. If they say, Three days retreat, that's all I say. You never see them again afterward. Not like some of you. Forever, forever after. Don't go home at all. <laughs> you don't stay in Yongdong Center? No? Yongdong? City Center. City Center. Yeah, City Center. Have City Center? Oh. What? What did she say? It's a Chiri Mountain. Huh? It's in the mountain. Mountain? Yeah, it's not Yongdong, Chirisan, right? Uh, Chiri Mountain. Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. Tell them it's just a symbol, okay? Oh, they're hiding under there. Oh, man, look at it. Different. Mm. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. Hey!
Not you. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got excited. Uh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. What's a big deal? A few cakes. <laughs> for the monks, because they don't go out and buy good things for themselves. You eat all day, every day in your house. Anything you want. You go out anytime you want. It's different, okay? The monks, they don't go out and buy things. They don't have money that much. Maybe they're working and saving some money to come here. But uh, otherwise, oh, what do they do there? They're working? Yeah, they're planting vegetables? Cheso. Yeah, they grow vegetables. Uh, all of them? Same place? Modu da. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Do they sell also or just for themselves? One in the moment. For themselves. Huh? For themselves. For themselves. Ah. Oh. That's why a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, a lot. They have to pick out the grasses. Yeah, okay. What do you want to say? Huh? I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Chili. <laughs> you stay longer or you go tomorrow? Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Good. Very wise. Okay, good. Okay. Of course, if they plant a uh, vegetable for themselves. There are many things to do. Must water, must take the weeds out, must uh, shade from the sun, and must harvest. A lot, a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. Tell them. Oh, they have translation. No, this one doesn't have earphones. 어 농사 지으면 물도 줘야 되고 햇빛도 가려줘야 되고 해서 일 많으실 거라고. But it's healthy. 하지만 건강한 일이라고. Mm. 네. Working in the sun and fresh air. 햇빛도 쬐고 공기도 마시니까요. 네. 맑은 공기도 and 마시니까요. Eat your own vegetables. 네. 자기가 스스로 직접 키운 채소도 uh, 먹고요. Very organic. 네. 요즘 요즘은 봄이라서 풀이 많이 나기 때문에 좀 일이 좀 있습니다. Uh, 네. Because it's spring, there is a lot of grass coming out, so uh, there is a lot of work to do. Sure, sure, sure. Even in winter, they left also very quickly, so in winter also grow something else. <laughs> 겨울에도 빨리 가시니까 분명히 일이 있으신 걸 거라고 스승께서 말씀하세요. The monk, what does he do? 무슨 일 하세요? 한국에서? 그 절에 젠 센터에 있다고. 젠 센터, 메디테이션 센터. Meditation center. He is in the meditation center. Uh, which one? 어느 센터에 계세요? 센터? 네. 센터는 전주 센터. 영동? 절에 있지, 절에. 어, 법주 스탬플. Bobju Temple. Temple. He's in the temple. A temple, yeah. not the center. Not oh, center. Okay. He has everything he needs. Oh, 필요한 거다 가지고 계세요? Yeah, 있습니다. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, he does. He did not have any uh, red envelope for me, right? 빨간 and 봉투 안 받으셨나요? 받았습니다. Yes. Have already have? Yes, yes. Okay. Not red envelope, but some money inside. Like mostly, I offer them. 그 안에 용돈 돈들은 빨간 용 빨간 봉투요. 300 위안 정도 들은. 돈 300 달러 정도 들. 돈만 받았다고 돈만. 아, he only received the money. Only money. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> But like the yeah. envelope or just the one coin for New Year, that's different. Okay. Yes, the envelope. Yeah. Okay. How about do any of them not have? 어, 봉투 받으셨나요? 받았습니다. Thank you, Master. Yeah, they did. Them, she did not have. Yeah, I saw her today new. Okay. Somebody will bring it to her. Okay? 다른 분께서 봉투 가져다 주실 거래요. 예, 후파치 자오네그 요치스. 관워드치엔드른 무슨 무사서 세관나. 아, 如果不行的話去找那個那個昨天那個外國人啊,問他們有沒有額外的錢在那邊給他們. Thank you. Uh, somebody will bring, okay? Uh, quickly, they live in tomorrow. Busy man, busy nun. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, so I really like the Buddha's time. The nuns, the monks didn't have to do much. Just go out, taking alms once a day, 
and then you finished for the whole day. You can meditate, you can listen to the Buddhas. Nowadays you have many comfortable things, but you don't have time. Mm. Nowadays we cannot go begging for alms, because I don't think many countries allow that. Huh? Yeah. And in India, not everybody offered to monks. I saw that. When I was there, there was one monk, he said he didn't eat anything for fourteen days. Nobody offered him anything. And then he had to sell something. Maybe it was just to make a living, but I saw him selling like a tobacco pipe, you know, made with the ceramic. I was at that time also young and judgmental. I also didn't have much money anyway. I thought if he sells this kind of thing, I don't give him any. <laughs> I should not have judged him like that. I should not, yes. But I was too young and very, very precept-ridden, understand? Yeah. I thought if he sells things like this, it's harmful to others. He doesn't deserve my, my money. I didn't have much anyway, but I should not have judged him like that. Hmm. So now I don't judge anymore. If I see Thai monks, Buddhist, Burmese monks, or any monks who don't even eat vegetarian, I always offer to them with all my love and reverence. I do not judge anymore. But I was younger, you know. I was 29 going on 30, <laughs> something like that. You're young and, you know, idealistic and strong-headed, you know. I apologize to him in my heart. I still did not forget it. I thought to myself, I should have offered him something, no matter what, because he didn't eat for a long time. I don't know, maybe he is karma, but I should not have judged any monk like that due to his situation. If you see that, also please don't judge. Just give what you can, okay, huh? The monks, they don't have money. That's their lifestyle, okay? Mostly they don't have. I don't know how they have money to come here. 여기 오시는 자금 어떻게 마련하셨나요? Somebody help? 누군가 도와주셨나요? 음, 한 달에 조금씩 들어오는 게 있습니다. 그 모아서. 아, 한 달에 <웃음> 조금씩 들어오는. Every month a little bit of money comes in and there's a little help. <웃음> okay. Enough to live? 살만큼 들어오세요. 네. 생활에 필요한 만큼 들어오세요. Okay. 생활에 피어, 필요한 만큼 한 달에 네. 네. 생활 될 만큼. 예. Okay. <웃음> I wish that it was so easy, like visa and paperwork were easy. I would take them all to come here, live or live in Sihu, you know. 만약에 비자 문제랑 그런 여러 가지 문제가 쉬웠다면은 모두 다 이쪽으로 모셨을 거라고, 예, 모셨을 거래요. Translate correctly. 원하는 바입니다. 이게 좋겠습니다. She wishes it would happen. Ah. Oh. Maybe I think about it, okay? I will try to see if any way I can do it. Oh, no, no, I say, uh, maybe I think about it. I don't even know. I'm not government's man. <laughs> I'm not president of, of, of Taiwan. Even if I am, I would have to go through the law. And you have to have a reason to be here, okay? Even Buddhist monks, you have to prove it. You have to take exams and all kinds of things. Life is not like your master saying everything is done and it's done. You put too much, you know, pressure on me and you think I can move mountains. Maybe I can, but I cannot move the law, okay? All right. Ah, so quick. How quiet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the Buddha. Thank the Buddha. Thank the Buddha. Thank the Buddha. Thank the Thank the Buddha. Thank the Buddha. Thank the Thank you. 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 工作一段时间。啊，工作一段时间了。OK，Thank you。谢了。啊，OK，I've done my job today。May I leave now？Take a break。Yes，yes。I haven't seen my dog for two days，but now it's safe。I feel like I can stay with them longer。Oh my God，
<laughs> I was crying, my heart was broken for many days, week long, and I was thinking I was never going to see them again. And oh my God, it was it was the most painful time in my life. Yes. And more painful than when I left my former husband. I don't know why. <laughs> why are you laughing? Yeah. Kamsa Amida, thank you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Meditate for your country also, okay? For peace in your country. Yes. Every little uh, blessing helps, yeah? Every little blessing, every little prayer helps, yeah? Okay? Why? 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> when will I see you, my only one? Won't someone tell me if you ever return? Same destination. I want to break these chains of my desperation. Well, when I see you, my only one, one.哇,這麼多工作人員啊。從哪裡來的? 比较紧急一点,比较急一点,还好哈,I <笑> love you ah,可以看一眼就行了嘛,海湾常常看到哈,师傅还有工作,不然我可以赖在这边吃饭啊。你们煮的好吃哈,大家说很好吃啊 我爸有时候他们吃不习惯啊<笑> 那排不一样<笑> 比较少用香菜嘛
，不大对，懂不懂？比如说今天，呃，给我这个哈姆，应该赔那个上代，就给另外一个，呵呵就不不赔了啊，不赔。然后有一些香菜不能吃生的，吃生不好吃，没什么，没什么好的。哎、啊，不是那个，很多不同不同的，不是一个而已。有什么就带出来，只有那样两种而已哈。啊 ，OK OK， 来来来。有多少我就给多少，哦，今天不多哈 ，OK 哈，啊，薄荷 OK， 这个的话，嗯，白，薄荷，嗯，这个白白什么都差不多还好了哈，春卷呢，嗯、呃，不是春卷，春卷就是那不是不不是加的那种春卷了，就是生的那种，啊，就可以可以配下卷，对，可以配这个，不要配那个，这个。这个 OK， 卷卷下卷，呃 OK， 懂吗？哎，跟沙拉这个也可以配，这沙拉不要配这个了，啊，<笑>这个配这最好吃就是这个，最好吃就是这个，那个那种越南的那个白白的哈姆有没有？白卷圆圆这样啊，然后这样，白白的，啊，接出来一一小块小块那个，呃，有时候你们接一半那半圆形那种。他本来就圆形嘛，你们平常接给师傅或者是是一半圆形，配这个最好啊，配这个跟那个啊、呃、盐巴，还有呃胡椒，对的，那个加那个，然后吃这个 ，OK， 这个很不好配的，不好配，不然跟吃那种生叫什么啊，素、呃、素食的鸭子跟那鸡鸡。鸡鸡，素鸭，素肉，鸡鸭，素素鸭，素鸡的啊，这个配如果没有煮的话，那、啊、就比较原味的哈，就吃吃这个也跟加一点盐巴跟胡椒就行了，嗯嗯，还、啊、有一些，有些像那个是 smoke smoke， 啊 ，smoke。不是不是，有一些跟有一些跟跟那个素鸡素鸭一样的肉啊，不过它用因那个烟烟有烟味，烟熏的啊，然后他们用一点柠檬哈，啊，你 OK 吗 ？OK， 要坐这里可以，坐这里啊，啊，要要 OK， 啊，柠檬呃呃，柠檬汁一点，然后盐巴。然后叫什么哇？黑胡椒，啊，还有这个那个煎煎，或是加加那个生的油的哈，然后加加这样吃 ，OK， 嗯，嗯，我为什么讲那个东西？那我们做做菜啊，好好好，啊，香菜配的要怎样才好吃？啊，对对，这些是比较特别的，这个香菜什么配都好吃，嗯，生也好吃，嗯，跟跟菜煮也好吃。啊，多放一点点，比较有，呃，口味。OK， 有时候我没有胃口，不过你们给我一点点哈，我跟那些不没有胃口吃也配一配也好吃的。这个它比较挑剔啊，这个比较挑剔，只有那几个素鸭、素鸡跟那个越南白白那个假假有假，嗯、呃，那个越南白白那个哈姆啊，啊，就这样子。辣辣的，对，比较辣辣，呃，吃那个才好啊，呃，这个吃跟那个跟白豆腐不不怎么一样好吃，<笑>吃不下，所以要赔就好吃了，啊，不赔赔不对的话就浪费饭菜，浪费菜，啊，还有一些越南的那个也是蛮好不好赔的，很多别不同香菜不好赔。如果有有看到，我会会再提醒。你们给什么，我也没讲，从来也没讲。吃不吃就放旁边嘛，不用批评。我认为这样，<笑>懂吗？嗯，不用不不吃的话，看你人也好啊。<笑>人家诚心给你，你什么意思抱怨嘛？所以你们乱给我也乱看啊，没有乱吃就乱看，<笑>然后就退回去。不是嫌你们。不好，怎么就是这样不习惯了 ？OK 哈、啊，嗯，有一些能煮才要煮跟，跟跟汤煮才好吃
，我这种东西啊、哦，煮什么汤放都也好吃的，了解吗？是吗？是吗？吃看看，吃看看，嗯，就更增加那个口味了，啊、嗯，吃看看啊、嗯，这些我们台湾多得很啊，也很便宜 ，OK， 啊、嗯。不要太神了 ，OK？ <笑>这个不多少钱呐、啊，放一点点大家好吃。不晓得你们喜不喜欢呐、啊？如果放放的话会喜欢呐、啊。那为什么不放呢？哦，少了，没有放很多了。这些根本都不不放了，不要说很少。<笑>我偶尔才看到几滴而已，不是说几根几滴呢，那就这样，都很神了都。<笑>点点这样子，哇！我找了半天，<笑>你在哪里找不到？有闻到味道就是找不到。<笑>这个很便宜，而且伤害性很小嘛。它是属于那个比较小伤性，你可以多放一点，在不同菜，任何菜都可以放。奇怪的哦，不给啦。不过，不过你们如果不要放的话，我也没办法。是。<笑>权力都在你们手上啊，<笑>我不能进去啊，啊，就乱来乱进去被贴出去，<笑>你不是这里的<笑> ，OK 哈、啊，嗯、啊，就是这种不不不要随便放啊，跟生菜也没怎么好吃啊。不过煎，比方说像这个你可以砖灶啊，哈，砖灶，比方说切小小的哈、啊，切很细细的啊，跟那个拉，那个拉灶呢。小金招那种哈，很小的小小的那种很小的，啊，很小的，不过辣得很那个，那个青接接在一起哈，啊，接青椒哈，接一点那个什么、啊、素素，比方说苹果啦，啊，接接接,接在一起啊，然后就放嗯、啊、酱油啦，啊，就可以像排别的菜给吃，懂吗？啊，这样就可以排嗯。我这个都随随时随便生也好，切小的好，跟切小跟金椒，金椒是吗？小小的，嗯，然后就跟酱油配在一起，啊，就这样可以加别的东西吃啊，随时这样就很简单好吃的啊 ，Thank you。谢谢师傅。大佛经。<笑>没什么了 ，OK。谢谢啦。放你们关心大家也会吃大概师傅比较没有胃口嘛，啊，师傅口味比较差了，大概老了，差，所以那个比较，呃，惊动一点就呵呵好吃。Thank you 哈，嗯、啊，谢谢大家拥护，嗯，贡献，啊，谢谢贡献心，嗯，无条件的是吗？有没有条件？嗯，你知道哪一个人有条件，你把他请回去，请他回去。OK， 好了 ，Thank you。嗯，谢谢师傅。好、哦，还有一件事情，以前呢、啊，现在你们煮稀饭很好了，没有像以前那么稀了。稀饭并非应该那么稀，就变成跟喝汤一样呢，懂吗？太稀的话，那这边我们有工作人员嘛，他们整天要出去工作，那个时候特别是冬天，我只有那一天，那那。那个时候批评意意思而已，因为人家冬天他呃中国人比较喜欢吃稀饭嘛，很多人喜欢了、啊，他吃了全部都吃，不过都是水呀、啊，很多水，很小那个，很小那个米呀、啊，这样他们吃，等一下就去冷啊，风在外面一下就肚子，嗯不好咯 o k 稀饭现在跟你们煮这样就 OK 了，啊，不很稀 ，OK， 就这样而已。别的都 OK 了，放上再更好，不放也要过日 OK。<笑>好，谢谢了啊、哦，谢谢师傅，谢谢师傅。九百分九十九零九九九都 OK 了，<笑>差一点那个香菜，因为我老人嘛啊，挑剔一点啊，走，拜拜。嗯，不过麻烦你们一次而已嘛，一天一次而已嘛，是吗？不会麻烦，哎、不会。好，不会。好了 ，OK 了，谢谢师傅。佛保佑，嗯，功德无量<笑> ，Thank you。是老老人家，老人家，老人家不能进去进进啊。不是，他们没有进去了。啊？
。哦，这样的，那过来看一下老人。哎，老人来看老人，刚好，啊。你们老人看我老人刚好过来，过来啊，站也可以站，就如果坐不方便就站，没事没事，站了站了，哎，没事了，站着 OK， 来跟大家站，万一倒他们会扶你，哎，过来过来过来，近一点点，啊，坐下来坐下来，好了好了好了好了，别急，别趁机会急的啊。OK， 那个还好吗？好。哎呀，如果看不到就跑前面，那个那些矮矮跟我一样那个跑到前面来，到后面来 ，OK 哈。哎，多看几眼呢啊，不用坐没关系，站的舒服就好，舒服就好。问老人嘛。哎呀，行动不方便，我有时候也是这样。下雨太多，冬天冷，我们膝盖它会。明显冒冒烟了哈 ，OK， 还好吗？住这边比较好是吗？可以看电影是吗？啊，有翻译什么清楚哈？也有吗？有翻译哈？有。听得清楚吗？有。啊，太好了，太好了，我们这个时代很有福报。那个老人过来呢，前面，那后面看不到任何呢。哎，看不到就到前面这边来 ，OK。嗯、呃，如果害羞就不要，嗯。Russia, go home now. You feel deep pity for the animals that get eaten. If you really try to put yourself in their shoes, Kenji Miyazawa, vegetarian. Tomorrow, I'm between master and disciples. Ah, that that give that that Guo Yu, that give the chef officer, ah, Guo Yu, Guo Yu, this give the old man, just mop it. Then come mop it again. If 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 still mop mop, ah, they just like to be mop mop. If you have a taste, it's good. You mop. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Mexico is one of them. Mexico, Federal Animal Health Act 2007, Article 21 states that those with domestic animal people must provide adequate quantity and quality of food and water, veterinarian supervision, and immediate attention in case of illness or injury. Offenders face fines. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses, no more hurting, no more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Bright-minded viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Unconditional help and love is the answer. Part 9 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Embracing Wisdom and Kindness in Islam, Selections from the Hadith, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more constructive programming. May your days be filled with newfound inner strength and tranquility. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach.
Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD. We in this area have any problems? Can we bring them to the hospital? If we can do it, we can do it. If we can do it, we can do it. If we can do it, we can do it. If we can do it, we can do it. 下来就不能动了。是啊，这个药都不能动。哦，这样子啊，腰都不下。哦，对不起。哦，好，有一些问题就一样了。哎呀，哎呀，我们老了不一样嘛。不过有一些年轻他帅也是有问题的啦。人，这个人体，人体真的很烦啊、哦。有的有。上节目。啊呀，什么东西在里面啊？打开，打开，哦，总比没有好，没有很多样，不过没关系嘛，有爱心在里面了啊、哦，有爱在里面，好、哦，你们等一下一起分享好吗？好，一人多，如果给的话就乱成一长，然后你那个那个那个膝盖又更蹲不下来了。<笑> OK， 还有。然后倒下来，他们拿比较方便。呃，倒盖比较大的那个，他们拿比较方便。OK， 来过来。哇，你们吃这样会胖死了。好了好了，够了。<笑>他们吃的会胖，又蹲不下去了。<笑>本来站不起来，就是蹲不下去了。<笑>然后蹲不下去，变来就变成站不起来了。哎呀 ，OK， 啊、呃，能够的话，到这边混一混啊。等一下再弄，现在也不用放下去好了。你们不用蹲，太太痛了，哎，不用蹲。好啦，不要不要过过分。<笑>他们老人家没吃那么多，上针而已了。<笑>还有给别的哦，还有是是谁？那个厨房占桌的。本来从那边过来。不是不是，刚才不是在那边了吗？我过去的哈，我过去有看过了哈。啊，那那个给那个郭宇，那个给厨房人员了啊，对，过去，这个给老人家，这这边这边，这边，给，说什么？厨房，厨房，厨房，厨房，厨房，再来再来，刚才有一个我拿走了，厨房已经拿走了，哎，这个人奇怪，<笑>摸过了，<笑>再来摸一次，万一万一还摸摸到，哎，他们就喜欢被摸到才奇怪。<笑>有饼干就好了，还要摸。<笑> OK， 给工作，给那个厨房人员而已，够不够？不够再拿一一一包给师傅。OK， 一袋又是一什么了？<笑>一人拿两个，啊，得一人拿一两个了，对了。等一下师傅走了，一人拿一两个嘛哈、啊，排队拿。OK， 好，呀、嗯， yeah, 行了 ，OK 啦，对了，哎，再来一个。给厨房人员 ，OK， 他们给我们东西吃，我们也要给他一点嘛。<笑>偶尔啦，今天他们有福报了。OK， 厨房，厨房，厨房，啊，刚才有摸过了呢，好，摸过了吗？好了，来来，去了去了。厨房人员，哎，这这这个这个给我们这里的了啊。OK， 这个。我就给他们的、啊，好好那留下来，等一下了，等一下，放在广场那边给他们方便呢、啊。哎，放那边呢、啊，放少林寺里面，他们自己慢慢拿、啊。OK 哈，我走了。好，谢谢。慢来，慢来，他们老人家别急，别急，我慢来，我慢来，别急，别急，他们，老人家不能急哦，人家行动不方便，不是。你们记得哈，以后我是从今以后记得清楚啊，老人家不能挤 ，OK？ 他们行动不方便，他们不是故意的，了解吗？不是故意，行动不方便，你老了以后你就知道了，很快了，我跟你讲，很快，很快就下山了。五十六十以后，我觉得下山很快。啊，以前我们觉得哇，永久不会怎样，永久不老了，结果奇怪。过了一个月、呃，晚上而已，哇，怎么老了？<笑>然后行动不一样啊。好，然后你们照顾自己 ，OK。好，多多吃一点生菜，如果能够吞得下去的话。生菜、水果啊，还有吃一点对骨头帮助的 ，OK。好了。
我也不能讲多什么啊，就是这样，你们都知道了，老了一定都知道了。<笑>如果老了不知道的话，就哎呀完了，<笑>还等到什么时候才才了解呢？是吗？哎，年轻的人还说年轻不懂事，我们老没借口了。哎，他们都说你这么老了还不懂事吗<笑> ？OK， 好了啊。哦哎谢谢，嗯，你们保护保佑自己 ，OK， 上帝保护 ，OK， 上帝保佑啊、哦，哎，上帝保佑啊、哦，能活多久我们就修行多久哈、哦，最重要了，我们现在老了都不管闲事了，好吗？再见哈！我不能一个一个照顾。开门。我爱你 ，OK。啊，那个他。哎，因为有一个晚上啊，有一个晚上，我我工作很晚嘛，然后嗯。呃我就离开狗了，我跟我跟他们一起工作啊，那个小办公室，这样他们借的师傅有在，即使照顾一点点，然后去工作，他们看到师傅就好了。结果我、哦、然后我跑出来工作就完嘛，就要回去了，很晚了，我怕我怕吵他们，所以我没有开灯，我就默默这样开，就出去碰到了一个那个、呃、他们弄一个木头台什么吐出来，晚上看不到。碰到，然后他就就这个我，这样子刮，哎，就是这样的，没什么，皮肤而已，呵呵皮肤而已很快就好。我擦一擦那些点单的，有时候记得擦，有时候不记得擦，他自己会好的，他自己会好的。哎，我们修行的人呢、啊，东西小东西很快就好了，没什么事。OK， 以后我不管狗起来不起来，我会开灯就好了。呵呵太考虑别人了，好，谢谢好，大家保重哈，嗯，还还好，谢谢，还好吗？嗯，师傅不常看你们，也没有什么，给你们，还好吗？偶尔看一眼，总比没有好哈，平常看一眼就够了，人家外面看一眼也够，何况你们啊？烦恼就是看一眼要多看两眼，然后都多眼。<笑>他们都是这样的。我我一个人而已，如果多生几个师师傅多好呢、哎。我妈妈就生一个师傅而已，为什么不多生几个？<笑>那以前呢、啊，越南有一个传统故事，就说啊，那个原稿的有一个妈妈嘛，她是现人的下来的。然后跟那个龙的君啊，然后结婚在一起生出来一百个，啊，一百个蛋子，然后变成一百个人呐、啊，嗯，他们这传统是这样想讲的，嗯，一百个多好呢，你们想象啊、哦，一百个的话最少几百人有一个师傅呢，他就什么都会做了，嗯，我一个师傅<笑>几百千人，哎呀，这比较困难一点。没关系，看眼睛就好了嘛，哈 ，OK， 看眼睛是最好了，摸来摸去也差不多了 ，OK， 要摸吗 ？OK， 一个一个过来，快快，那别别急，别急，别急，别急，别急，行动已经不方便了，还要急，啊，摸好了就走，摸好就走。摸好就走，别人好吗？哎，不急了，人家摸好离开别人。哎，你们排队好不好？排队好了。排队排队，别急别急，人家行动不方便。
。好了，就走，别人来 ，OK。哦哦哦哦哦，走走走。哦，谢谢，谢谢，别讲话，别讲话，保持那个驾驶力。你在讲话会露出来。谢谢，谢谢，别讲话，讲话那个驾驶力漏掉了。再见了，上帝保佑哈，嗯 ，Thank you， 谢谢。这些人是从哪里来？刚刚去上上面上厕所的时候，他们没办法进来。嘿，在那边仓库还有没有饼干糖果给护法？哦，他听到了。师傅要把加植物送过来。哦，太好了，一样的。刚才那个人吗？不一样。在里面的不一样，在里面。另外一个。拿钱那个。对，另外一个。啊，我护法也要有一点东西吧，好不好？不是需要，就是喜欢嘛啊。然后我们一人一两个，好吗？这样而已，够不够啊？啊？还要不要拿多一桶比较好？这个恐怕不够。最近护法很多，护法就包括那些人门神啊 ，OK？ 嗯。哎，小一个护法就来拿饼干糖果了。他们从那边拿出来。啊 ，OK。我多谢你们护法哈。<笑>大家拥护，谢谢了啊！这个放在比较好地方，等一下大家一起来拿那边比较庄严，里面那里 ，OK？ 不要在这边了，放那边，大家等一下来 ，OK？ 跟他们说分享啊，不是给你们而已啊，给大家了，放那边的，他们等一下过来，哎，啊，谢谢了，<笑>现在全部拿出来了，<笑>也好，算你们有福报，够了啊，也。那那那那那那那，那那么多的话，说不定给一些工作人员，如果知道的话 ，OK 哈。OK，OK，、okay. okay. 啊，在那边放那边，啊，等一下工作人员也。啊，留一些给他们，懂吗？这几天工作人员呢，不晓得说什么什么。啊 ，Thank you， 好了，多谢用户。<笑>哎，把麦克风拿走。Thank you，Thank you， 多谢哈。他们是已经看过了哈。对。还没有看过。有，他们有在之前在大殿里面。啊 ，OK 了就好，好，没事。等一下，哎、欸，等一下，我估计看到你们会不会跑那么远？小心，小心！哈哈哈哈哈！放一点饼干糖果在那个四十季那里。是是啊。大家一起吃，工作人员等等，啊，好多，一人两三个嘛 ，OK。上灯上灯了啊！多谢拥护啊！多谢这几天保护啊！不会不会不会，身边嘛哈、啊，嗯。
，顺便可以在一个休闲的地方。哦，现在已经有巴士来了哈。是是是，巴士停了。还有还有还有一些，还有一个要机场的，啊、哦，有些等住。那那些是什么人？有看过了吗？呃，那些有有一些工作人员，门口那边也是工作人员。啊，过来过来，啊，我过去，我过去，不然他走太远。你要跟着的话，后面不过，后面在这里最重要的，就是后面坐一坐了哈。不是你。不知道不知道。他们一直跑，是累吗？哦，对，耶耶耶耶！为什么在这里？他们在在家，他们是医疗组的，是医疗组。医疗组哦，那好，不用急，我开过去弯路。嗯，哎呦，他呃，一起过来，让他们那些领导 ，OK。哦 ，OK 了 ，OK 了，哎呀，那顺便也给他们一些饼干、糖果，不然等一下他们都走回去了，就拿拿一桶过来给这里，一箱一箱，一箱啊、哦，谢谢。啊，什么时候能过来？他问什么？下次啊，送了有奖了，奖。多谢大家啊，这几天，这几天会不会太辛苦？不会啊。真的很开心，很开心，很开心，非常开心。为什么哭？为什么？那个剧情都感受到那个啊,啊，现在更舒服过来。现在更高兴。我们一个一个拍，一个一个拍。哎，谢谢。额外哈。谢谢。好，客气不客气。没有了就来，没有就过来。<笑> OK， 哎，好爱你们，谢谢大家，谢谢，那么拥护啊，谢谢陈心拥护，没有了就过来哈，有了哈都有了哈，啊 ，OK， 哦，这么小工吗？给给你们这边的这些，啊，已经摸过了没有啊？再来再来 ，OK，Thank、okay, you， 好了好了。来呗，喏，来这里，这里，来来来，来来来，放下放下，等一下，他们就进了。来，这个，你这个摸过了，不是是给你们护法吗？啊，你们一起。哦，这里是，这里是，那个人是谁呢？为什么站在那里？买卖东西哈？我是工作人员。工作人员。不是，不是，啊，是同事哈。上来，上来，上上上。啊，也没关系。<笑> OK， 现在呢，这这边的护法过来护法。啊，这个干什么？啊，不是护法那边有了。啊，护法那边够了吗？够哈。有三箱。哦，不够不够，这个，哎，给护法。这边是给这边的 ，OK 哈。来来，刚才也有一个同，对呀、啊，那两个给你们这里，啊哈。OK， 过来护法过来，顺便利用机会。嗯，大笔，我总少疼他。再减两岁而已，吵的去看师傅，每次哭闹要吵的，吵的要去看师傅。现在还是一样，长得好好看，哎，能够谁来就来护法 ，OK。还有谁？啊，如果他们能来就来，哦呦，怎么都来了？哦呦，哦，过来过来，好了，没关系，放着，放箱子，放放着，等一下再捡。哦，你好吗？谢谢谢谢。OK， 放着没关系了。还要我摸吗？新的哈，新的哈。你们如果不够的话，多拿一点来。啊，这边这边有一些工作人员嘛，啊，比方说水电什么一大堆的啊。啊，那边不乏跟别的工作人员。
，如果剩下的话就还给他们，给别人 ，OK， 上增一两个嘛，啊，好的。还有什么护法没有被摸到，过来打几几张。<笑>但是护法都不敢走啊，叫他们哈、哦、用自己的人，用用电话讲，叫他们用自己的人护法，然后护法过来，叫他们自己用别人的，所有护法都过来，算了。他们嗯，他们人也不敢过来了，叫他们自己的人护，然后。教他们自己的人坚守护，然后护法过来，懂吗？对，教他自己人挡自己的。全部护法过来，自己人挡自己，护法可以过来。哦，那太谢谢，好，多谢多谢，这样子对了，谢谢，互相拥护帮忙，对了，嗯。啊，护法过来，这几天很辛苦呢，嗯，没人感恩呢，师傅感恩 ，OK， 师傅感恩你们好吗？耶、yeah ，挡住了，哎，不客气，哎，新的新的帽子，<笑>是我设计的，是是是是是，喜欢呢，啊，这样顺便广告嘛，啊，<笑>对呀、啊，广告给外面人看，这是书，哎，不，别鬼太痛了，不要，这几天很辛苦了。站起来，走过来就好了，别跪，别跪。我也是，行动不方便，来这样比较，他们不用跪，不用跪，不用蹲，太辛苦，不用不用啊，我站这样就很方便，来，好，谢谢你们这几天辛苦哈。Thank you， 功德无量。别讲话，别讲话，最好不讲话。那个加持力保护保保持 ，OK， 保持在里面。别讲话，别谢谢，啊，谢谢在心里。哎，过来。<笑> I will forever love you。不要讲话哈，保保持加持力。Thank you， 啊。跟大家这里差不多一样，这里他们走动方便。别急，别急，我等。那边都大概好了才过去的哈。对。别急，过来，过来，步伐是吗？别急，别急，别急，别急，别急，别急。啊，好，别讲话，别讲，讲话漏掉驾驶力。OK， 慢来，慢走。有没有别人漏掉？这个有没有漏掉？没有。有一个正跑过来。有一个正跑过来啊。OK， 别挤别挤，这边比较好，你那边人就会挤过来。哦，有很多人过来，好，那我退车好了，我退给他们，不要走那么那么远。
要看这个，万一万一我、啊、不小心啊，哎，过来。<笑>别讲话哈、哦，保持加实力 ，OK。刚刚有来过。I don't want to leave, but I have to. Oh, 不舍不得走，不过我有工作，懂吗？哎，我有工作。今天如果不做的话，明天来不及，又有别的工作。Thank you, huh? If I don't do it now, tomorrow is different work again, and I cannot finish, huh? Thank you. 这两个，等会没有。哎 ，camera man， 哎 ，camera man， 看，谢谢这几天认真，谢谢，好，等一下，等一下啊 ，thank you， 谢谢这几天辛苦哈，啊，好认真，功德无量哎 ，OK， 好了，这都有了，还没啊？摄影师，要不要叫出来？啊，都有了吗？有了 ，OK 了，好，等等，这两个也有了哈。OK， 还有都有了 ，OK 了。还有其他在里面，还有在室内的摄影师。哎，叫他出来。叫他出来，可以叫出来吗？赶快叫室内的摄影师出来。好，那我们过去那边。好，好，好，是是是。我们一起过去。我们叫你们好的。能不能有一只狗虎，叫他们用狗虎车跑过来？好，不然你开过去接他们。对的，哎呀，聪明，他还是他比好。那穷嫂爱师傅才这样，穷嫂爱师傅，爱死了。我要看师傅，要看两岁而已，还不能讲话很多，吵得要看师傅。哎、欸、喂，哎对了，因为如果我过去的话，你们要跑也是很累。用这部车也可以过去一起载他们。<笑>谢谢，爱你。Thank you。等一下还有饼干，你还好吗？不然坐一坐在后面，坐一坐了。嗯，贵。刚刚就摄影组他们也要。嗯，坐这边也可以，伸手过来跟我讲话嘛。<笑>我看你们贵，我好难过。哦，今天热闹，大家都全都被你占。你们看戏啊？<笑>你看，就不去吃饭呢，去吃饭了 ，Go eat <笑>。他们不理了，他们不管了
，没有用了啊！不去吃饭啊？<笑>饱了是吧？<笑>不饿，不饿不渴不累，<笑>不要饱。嗯。啊 ，camera man 吗？是吗？不是哈。任何 camera man 如果在四周围就可以过来。camera man 出来。camera man 还有啊，对了，翻译人员。camera man 翻译人员，赶快出来。那我们慢慢走到那边好不好？可以吗？他们还一直来嘛？啊，等他快一点就跑好了。车子出来了。这样这样步伐，你们每天这样跑步的哦。哎，谁 ？camera。有。只有两只啊。哎。啊 ，OK OK， 过来，过来。Thank you。谢谢。哎呦，哎呦，怎么事了？过来。管理人员，慢走，慢走，没事，我在等，在等。嗯、不要讲话，不要讲话哦！不要讲话。我去办路借办。干猪妈妈。真的太了，关什么了？哎哎哎，不要再爬了，过了啊。新的，反正给他们吃吧，啊，已经看了到就给了，在这里就给了，给他们一人拿几个，你们拿一人一两个哈 ，OK。不多，就这几对，这几个，好，没关系，剩下的就留给别人也可以，拿给他们这里，你们自己拿几个 ，OK。没有了哈，你们拿饼干呢
，没有呢。哎，两个 OK 了，<笑>上针啊 ，Thank you。没有了哈，大概这样而已哈 ，OK。哦，那老人家走了。做很忙 ，Thank you。嗯，功德无量看不腻啊哎呀呀！看到什么时候啊？哈，不去吃饭。呵呵哎，我也舍不得，就是没办法，有工作怎么办呵呵 ？Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your love. I thank you. I would like to stay forever. Just I have work and you have work. No. Must go home, right? <laughs> oh, 很多人看不到了。坐多高也是这样。我们你比你比我高一点。如果你站这边，他们都看了。要看他吗？他比较高。<laughs> 啊？不要看他！哎呦，人家伤心呢。人家那么英俊，你说我想看，什么意思？<laughs> 这你们都不礼貌，你们啊！啊。就是这样，都没有那么高的椅子啊。OK， 好了，祝你们修行进步。<笑> Thank you 哈，哎呀，不要叫师傅啦，意思每个都叫师傅，都叫他们，都叫我呢，有没有叫他们啊？一个叫师傅好了，两个。叫别人那么回去看看电影，就是哦，就饿啦。<笑>什么人都是注目师傅，<笑>叫人家不是就是叫师傅，这边也要啊，他们会嫉妒。啊，对了，坐下来，对，看比较清楚，后面人看比较清楚。对了，坐下来，大家都可以看得到。啊，快点，然后我也不然我走了，我快走了，坐下来还可以看得到。Sit down, <笑> sit <笑>。坐下来就可以看得到了，哎，看不到就看不到。<笑> My God， 什么种类的人哈 ？What kind of people are you? Looking only one person all the time and not tired? 啊？<笑>一天到晚看一个人，老人不腻吗？神经，看不够，呀呀。
我也知道那个答案了，我看就晓得。<笑> OK， 啊，多看几年了，因为师傅还有工作嘛，啊，你们很快就要走是吗？啊，如果不没时间吃饭的话，就带干杯，你们在巴士吃哈，也要吃一点，不然来回去来不及煮饭了，呃、啊，肚子不舒服，知道哈。If you cannot eat here because you don't have time, you pack in your cup and eat on the bus, okay? Because it takes many hours to go home and you don't have time to, to cook and to eat and your stomach will make trouble, huh? Because it's not easy to eat, your stomach is not easy to eat, your stomach is not easy to eat, and you have to go home for a few hours, okay? Do you have any use for these two days? Yes! Is it true? 怎么每个人讲一样呢？有谁会了是吗？哎，有什么用说？一个人说，啊？你要练几个吗？哪一个人要讲吗？非常非常快。哦，这个是有什么用？啊，入有入定啊，我意思 OK， 哎。啊，师傅，刚大伯，我话那没谈妥呀，师傅。那那那刚话入师傅，那那师傅啦，刚入师傅，然后到十二岁，刚才到入师傅。一来，刚入师傅，龙海满。Thank you。本安，谢谢。Thank you。刚入师傅。我问你不同的问题，啊，不过你回答就对，啊，很快就入定啊，在家入不定啊。我有时候会觉得累，但是就觉得有师傅的加持，一切都 OK 啊。Uh, Every day is miracles. Thank you, Master. Okay. We all love you. OK. OK. 有什么？你们有什么进步啊？有什么用说？也是这样啊。多少人那个觉得修在这边这几天打坐比较好，举手看看。哇，那，那我就很高兴了啊。修行没说谎哦，对吗？对。Good， 好，那就我们要感激，感激啊，天上保护了，嗯，还有感激工作人员呐、啊、护法、啊、大家，还有厨房人员呐、啊，牺牲他们时间，他们打坐的时间，让我们那个有机会修行安静，嗯，我是替你们。谢谢他们了，刚才有谢谢他们，啊，用行动谢谢的，不是说，呃，用语言而已 ，OK， 啊，好 ，OK， 你们心里也要感激哈，啊，好了，看够了哈，师傅也走，因为他们也要回去呀、啊，明天他们也要工作，啊，很多人要工作啊，他们会把有一些，亲家额外来的，因为这个是。这这个礼拜我们晋级，这礼拜五已经有活动了，所以他们需要需要额外多多护法，所以他们很多人请假过来。现在他们也要回去啊，看太太啊，看小孩啊，看女朋友啊，男朋友啊，先生啊，<笑>你懂吗？他们也是有家人，好吗？那师傅走了，不然他们就就不能回去了啊！好，这些。嗯、你们也要回去哈，高兴快乐回去的啊！不管多好时间，还是有，要不要离开的啊？不是上天堂那了、啊，以后我们上天的，就天天可以看，看永久不用离开的 ，OK？ 嗯、啊，好。
我在等那几个手有没有看过了好像有看过了哈好像从那边下来的是吗啊都是这样 OK 再见再见 too much, not gentle, he said. Okay, God bless you. Buddha bless you. Okay, God bless you. Buddha bless you. <laughs> Heaven loves you. Okay. Russia, go home, now. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.